Today, we'll be talking about the differences between effect and effect. Let's dive right into it. Effect is a word that is generally used as a verb, while effect is a word generally used as a noun. For the most part, you'll see these words as these parts of speech. The definition of effect is the means to influence or produce a change in something. An example of this in a sentence would be, this medicine will affect your heart when used too often. The medicine is affecting your heart. It is producing a change to your heart. It is producing an action of sorts. The definition of effect is the result of a change. So while effect was the change that occurred, effect is the result of that change. An example of effect is the effects of the tornado were severe as many people lost their homes. The tornado caused the damage, so the effects are the damage caused by the tornado. Just for fun, I put both words in one sentence. The most common side effects of this medicine affect the heart. This helps show how the effects of the medicine are mainly the symptoms, but that these symptoms happen to the heart. The effect is the change of the condition of the heart, while the effects are the results of that change. Now I will show you a clip from the film The Godfather. He will be using one of these words, and we will be discussing which one he uses. Never hate your enemies. It affects your judgment. Effect and effect are pronounced in similar ways, so it can be hard to pinpoint which is being used. In order to help, I put a caption below. Looking at the sentence, we have to decide whether it is being used as a verb or a noun. Using the context clues from the sentence, we can figure out that it is being used as a verb. We can conclude he used the word affect. This is because the hatred is influencing the judgment. It is affecting it. There are ways to remember the differences between affect and effect. Affect starts with A as an action. This helps you remember that it's a verb. With effect, you can use the saying cause and effect. As cause ends with an E, you can jump right to the effect that starts with an E. The E connects the two and reminds you that effect is the result of a cause or change. Now, to get a little tricky, there are some exceptions to the previous rules. Effect can also be used as a verb in some cases when involving the nouns change or solutions. In the example below, teachers wanted to affect change in the learning environment. They wanted to bring about the effect of change or the result of change. Using affect would have changed the meaning of this phrase. It would mean to impact the existing changes. It's not as powerful as creating change, like when using effect. Effect has an exception as well. Effect can be used as a noun to mean feeling, emotion, or some specific emotional response to something. The example below says Sarah wanted John to know there were no hard effects after he broke up with her. This shows that effect can be used to sort of replace the word feelings in some cases. Don't worry though, this is an exception you won't see often, unless you're in the psychology field. Here are some practice ones for you to try. You can pause the video before the answers are given. Here are the answers. You can pause the video again to go through and check to make sure you got them correct. Thank you for watching my video and I hope this helped.